Ready to see how the stars will align in the new year? We got you. We spoke to famed astrologer Susan Miller about her predictions for 2024 and what each zodiac sign can look forward to. But, as she reminds, you have to put in the work to reap the rewards the universe is sending your way. You have to partner with the universe, Susan, who released her annual Year Ahead calendars, exclusively told E. News. When I tell you you have good aspects, you can't just sit and hope somebody is going to knock on the door. You have to do something to show your intent. A perfect example of working with the universe and not against it is happening on May 17th, the luckiest day of the year, according to the Astrology Zone founder. As she put it, on that day, you should do something that is hard to achieve because you have the universe behind you. Now that you know the luckiest day of 2024, keep reading to see Susan's glimmering predictions for each sign in the new year. Aries, March 21st to April 19th, they are in a glorious financial reward stage. It started last year in May, and it ends on May 25th, 2024. Then, Jupiter moves on to a different part of the chart, and when it does, they'll be able to travel a lot more than they are now. We're not talking about overseas, we're talking about domestic travel, but luxurious and beautiful experiences. Taurus, April 20th to May 20th, Taurus can get anything they want. Their one true love is a very big part of Jupiter conjunct the sun. But when Jupiter goes into Gemini, that's when they'll start making money from the seeds they're planting now and have already for the past six months. They have to do it now because once we go into Jupiter and Gemini, that's when the seeds come up in the garden. Gemini, May 21st to June 20th, Gemini is standing there and excited because they get it next. They wear the crown from May 25th, 2024 to early June 2025. All the changes that are happening for Gemini are internal. Their new desires, their new ideas, the things they want to achieve, their planning and strategizing. Maybe some of them are working on a book right now because this is the sign most talented with writing, speaking, editing, the internet, and digital. I think we'll see the publishing industry do very well once Jupiter gets into Gemini. Cancer, June 21st to July 22nd, Cancer has to expand their friendships. I want them to join a club, a social club, or a professional club, whatever their industry, join it. Go to a convention, talk to people, be open. I want them to socialize up until May 25th. After that, they can go into their little quiet stage and meditate about their upcoming special year, which will begin in mid-2025. Leo, July 23rd to August 22nd, Leo is in the best career year ever. They're making all the news and they're climbing to new heights. This is an incredibly wonderful year to be a Leo. Love comes after May 25th, but before then, I want them to work, 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 and to really think about their reputation. This is the year when they stand out in elevating their career. Virgo, August 23rd to September 22nd, they have some of the best long-distance travel aspects. I want them to spin their compass and look for a good package deal because they're going to be lucky. I need them to travel before May 25th because they're moving into what Leo has now, the most fabulous career aspect ever. But because of Saturn, their closest relationship is going to be tested. If they have a good relationship, they're going to sail through this test easily. If it's been wobbly, then it's good to go to a couple's therapist. Libra, September 23rd to October 22nd, Libra is an interesting case. They are so tired of getting unexpected expenses and the universe feels a little guilty about this. They are money magnets right now, especially in January. They could be getting a commission of royalties, it could be inheritance, it could be a sweepstakes. Scorpio, October 23rd to November 21st, Scorpio has the best marriage aspects. They could get engaged for Christmas or Valentine's Day. They also have magic with this. They're going to make a lot of money in the second half of next year. Maybe a bonus or some performance-based compensation. Sagittarius, November 22nd to December 21st, they don't like to be married. They're terrified of it. But Sagittarius will have the best commitment aspects starting May 25th and through a full 12 months. Fitness and health are fabulous. This is a sign that is very athletic to begin with. And they are also getting nice assignments, ones that they really enjoy. Capricorn, December 22nd to January 19th, they have the best love aspects, true romantic love. It's just magical for them, but only until May 25th. Aquarius, January 20th to February 18th, Aquarius has the real estate aspects right now. They could buy a house or fix up the house for so much that it appreciates in value. They can buy, sell, renovate, refresh, and redecorate. They have to feather their nest because they'll be able to invite love in after May 25th. They'll have the best aspects for love that Taurus, Gemini, and Capricorn will have. 
Pisces, February 19th to March 20th. If Pisces wants to buy a house, they need to wait until the second half of the year, early June, July, or August, because they're under really good aspects for housing from then until June 2025.